Okay, so when purchasing a hyperbaric chamber, one of the most important questions that you need to know is safety procedures and how quick can you get out of a hyperbaric chamber if something was to go wrong or how quick can you get a patient out or a loved one out if something was to go wrong or if they were either to have, um, there's a host of things. A patient could have a seizure, a panic attack, uh, just fall asleep or go unconscious. Every one of those, those scenarios are very real within a hyperbaric environment, especially if you're using a chamber on a, on a, on a repetitive basis for an extended amount of time. And that really goes for even physicians they, that you need to know this. So in doing a, um, an evacuation procedure, one of the most, most important things that you wanna do is get that patient out or be able to know how quick can you get that patient out of the chamber uh, safe, safely, and most important, reliably. As I said, with product A hyperbaric chambers, you cannot beat their, their safety protocols. That literally, they are, they're redundant. Like, as I said, if the power is to go out, they have a surge alarm that will go off, that will let the, the user know, that will let the physician know, or the parent know that the power is not being supplied to the pumps supplying oxygen. But with these chambers, with product A chambers, that really doesn't matter because if the power was to go out, well, I mean, it matters, if the power was to go out, that the valves are an open valve, which means that the patient can still breathe inside. Even if this chamber completely deflates on top of them, they will still be able to breathe without a problem, as well as CO2, be able to escape out of the chamber that is being built up. And that's really what causes asphyxiation, is not the decrease of oxygen, but most important, the buildup of CO2 within an within a enclosed environment, such as a hyperbaric chamber. And we're gonna go over how quick it literally takes for CO2 to build up in a little bit. But so anyways, if we were to have an emergency procedure or a patient was to render unconscious, a uh, panic attack, seizure, whatever it may be, maybe even passed out or just sleeping in there, and we got to get them out of there, all we have to do is open the valve and release the hoses. And you can even instruct a patient to put their fingers, if they are conscious, inside there. So literally, within about 15 to 20 seconds, I am literally able to get a patient out of this hyperbaric chamber safely and efficiently without any problems at all. And just go on in there and help the patient. Now, one of the great things with with these chambers on product A is they have some of the, the best zippers or zipper qualities. They have pull tabs. They have big fat pull tabs that you can pull the zipper with whether it be two fingers or a nice long strap that you can literally grab hold of and pull with, with really like a fist closing on and getting a good grip of that zipper. That's very important when controlling or getting in and out of the hyperbaric chamber because that's gonna save on the zipper tension, zipper pressure, as well as extend the life of the chamber by extending the life of the zipper. Um, there again, with product A, even with, the, even with the horizontal chambers, if the power is to go out, if the patient is to render unconscious, if the patient is having a seizure, if the patient fell asleep, it doesn't matter because first that's gonna go off is the surge alarm. The second thing is when the chamber loses its, the power, the chamber will slowly decrease the pressure to even de deflate all the way, but it's still not a problem because the child or the patient is able to breathe because of the open valve system. And here again, we want to get somebody out, press the emergency release valve, and remove the hose. And literally, 
within seconds, I'm able to get the patient out of the chamber and help them out to be getting a safe environment. So with that being said, what is important to you when you when you buy in a hyperbaric chamber? It's got to be safety. So with product A, safety uh, is matched with like no other with the hyperbaric chamber industry. Thank you.